Owen, thanks for the invitation here to Hughes Steels Fabrication. Quite an industrial business here, quite some size. Yeah. What's your main uh, output? Uh, well, we do a lot of work for the ground support equipment on the airports, staircases, catering trucks, that sort of baggage handling type thing, uh, quarry equipment, general construction, bracketry and things like that there. It looks like you employ quite a few people here, a lot of bodies around. Yeah, there's over 40 here, uh, a lot of bodies, 30 welders and 10 support staff, plasma operators, brake press operators, drill line, that sort of thing. And, and tell me what you're doing here in this in this factory here with these curved plasma cutting uh, machines. This is where all the cutting's done of the flat sheets, which mainly goes to folding. Nearly all the elements we do have a part in them that has cut and folded. It's not just box action or beams and that. There's a lot of these days uh, cut and folded parts involved. Is there a big variance in thicknesses of material? Yeah, we would cut anything from three mil up to twenty five mil. We don't really go much above that because it's not required of the sort of work we do, but the machines are quite capable of doing that. Dimensionally, the size or the length and width yeah. of plates that you do, how big do they go? We have two machines here. One machine is two metres wide by six metres long. The other machine is two and a half metres wide by 12 metres long. Uh, the biggest part we ever cut would be eight metres long. That's a certain part we use in the process here, uh, but we have capabilities of cutting bigger parts. So. Why, why did you buy these kerf machines for these applications? Because there is there is other options out there as well, isn't there, Owen? Yeah, there would be, but you know, over the years we've sort of sort of did up Fred with kerf that they, you know, we've had one sort of retrofitted machine, one with them, and moved on to a new machine. Then we've just constantly upgraded to new machines, and that they have a good backup service. They have a local guy employed. If there's something goes wrong with a machine, within an hour he can be here. So that's a big plus. Are they competitively priced? Yeah, they would be. You get a good bit of kit for the money, and especially they're fairly robust machines that would do the you know day to day of what we're asking them to do. There's never an issue. So you, your first machine was about five years ago. Still yeah. going strong today? Yeah, still going strong. Yeah. Yeah. And tell us about the ultra sharp plasma as well that you're using now because you've introduced that technology into the business. What difference has it made for you? It means the hole sizes, especially around holes, are a lot more accurate. Where before in the old type high definition plasma holes just wouldn't be totally accurate uh, a lot of play in a hole now ultra sharp if you ask a, a machine to cut a 20 mil hole in 20 mil material it is 20 mil top and bottom that's the big plus and, and do you know what how the technology works is it is it software or is it hardware the, the technology is software and it controls the hardware so basically your speeds and all are set up on the ultra sharp Whereas normal cutting would be just a standard, you set the speed and you set the height and the power, but the ultra sharp does that for you, round corners, slows down, different thicknesses, speeds up, slows down, that sort of thing. That's where you get the ultra sharp. So you can choose to, let, let's say, ignore the ultra yeah. sharp if you want to, if you're just after the ultimate of getting the part off the machine as quick yeah. as possible. Yeah, you can if you needed to, you know, speed the thing up, but then you're compromising quality. And at these days, the way things are, quality is paramount. And, and is all the, the steel you cut all regular? I mean, is there any, any you, you know, are you doing stainlesses? We would are do you stainless, yeah, we would do stainless. Uh, we would cut checkered aluminium, and the machine finds its way on that okay. Like, the, there's raises and ups and downs in that, and that, that deals with that perfectly. At the installation of one of these machines as well, is, is there much you need to do here? Like foundations, no, or is it? Well, the buildings themselves are fairly adaptable. As long as the floor is fairly level, uh, obviously, plenty of room and a good power supply and the good air supply, other than that there everything seems to work out fine when the fitting, you know, now the, you getting the fume extraction and all that is part of getting the whole thing away, that's important, that's as important as the cutting getting the fumes away. The health and safety I yeah. suppose. Uh, much drift, I mean we look at this 12 metre long machine behind mm -hmm. us or 12 metre bed, yeah. from one end to the other, mm -hmm. if you were on a big a big plate, it, do you get much no, sort of tolerance it drift? Doesn't, but the thing is on a longer plate you would increase the speed. So you're cutting down on the, the heat that's put under the plate. So that's where, you know, like if it's a big plate, there's no issue. Uh, service and support and backup, you, I think yeah, you mentioned no the start's a big big part for you. Yeah, no problem. Service and support, it's, it's say an hour away if we need it, or weekends or anything, evenings, no problem at all. And the wear and tear on the hardware, we look at the arm yep. moving across. You're, you're, you're cutting a lot of steel mm -hmm. here. Do you ever find that the, these machines do wear in any way, shape or form? Yeah, well, we would service them at regular intervals. They're serviced roughly every six months. So all that is looked at, all that's kept on top of. 
a machine could be, if it's regular service, could still be cutting as good after 10 years, as long as it's service and the right parts put into it. And the final part for me is the surface finish, because that's uh, all the cut finish. Yep. Uh, delivering on all fronts? Yeah, all the time, no problem. Sometimes consumables need changed after they get you know, a certain amount of pierces. That's quite normal, so it is. You've got a lot of uh, kit here, uh, whether it be machines like this or, or press fold or, or folding machines, welding solutions. Yep. These one of your best supplies, Kerf? Yeah, it would be. I mean, time and time again, there's never an issue with machines. So that's why we go back. That's The machines are here where they're tried and tested. We don't need to go anywhere else.